Manpura is one of the farthest inhabited islands in Bangladesh. And like many areas of the South Asian country, it's not connected to the electricity grid. But the sun has saved the day. 22 large solar panels in this field have created something known as a mini grid. Electricity generated is stored in batteries. Enough power to run the community's market. Entrepreneurs, even the electric motorized rickshaws that ply the island. Abdul Rahim's shop makes iron grills and fixes cars and bikes. Before the mini grid, he used to struggle with a diesel powered generator. Businesses and entrepreneurs are starting to thrive. In this shop, rental computers help residents connect to the rest of the world. Eventually, the mini grid will provide 177 kilowatts of low cost electricity to 500 households and 179 businesses on the island. Solar is a practical source of energy in Bangladesh a country divided by waterways and geographic barriers that make traditional power plants and electrical grids expensive. World have fun on All this day. day. Already some 18 million people have access to electricity at home through solar-powered systems, through a project supported by the World Bank. But now, mini-grids are providing power not just to individual homes, but also to whole communities. In another village, Saidpur, a new mini grid has had a major impact on irrigation. Mohammed used to rent diesel pumps, but often the operators wouldn't show up on time. Now his crops are flourishing under a steady stream of water. The solar grid also means more economic opportunities for women. Lota Khatun now makes extra money sewing in the evenings. Bangladesh is fast becoming a leader in sustainable energy, a role model in the global movement to counter climate change. Other countries may follow its lead as the cost of solar energy falls. For millions of people, solar has been a chance to thrive. I can eat the